Hello! My name is Sandcrawler and we're playing The Secret World. I've been wanting to get back into this for about a year now since playing in the beta. I made a little test character and just tweaked some settings. Uh, we're going to play on the same server as the test character, but we're going to pick a different faction. The title of this series is going to be Yithmavig the Dragon. So, if you know anything about the game, then you'll know that I'll be playing as the Dragon faction. The Art of Chaos. Kaosu, 운명이 우리를 위해 움직이기를 바랄 뿐이다. 우리는 동전이 아니라 동전을 던지는 손이다. 동전이 그리는 궤적이고 동전을 흔드는 거친 바람이기도 하다. 셀수 없는 조건에 따라 결과는 달라지지만 우리는 그 모든 결과를 파악하고 조작하려고 노력한다. 천개의 동전이 떨어져 내리는 동안 우리는 공식을 만들고 계산해서 각 동전이 어디에 떨어질지 예측한다. 동전이 떨어진 다음에는 어떻게 할까? 우리는 상황에 따라 적당히 조절한 다음 동전을 다시 공중으로 튕긴다. 우리는 드래곤이다. 이론이 정의하는 범위를 넘어 카오스를 제어한다. Okay, so basically the dragon are chaos. And we're gonna play a guy because I don't play games as girls. Uh, we're not gonna be a black guy. Sorry. We're just gonna tweak our character here really quick. Um, I don't like it. Check it. We'll do. I'll probably change that because I have some pre order items. I don't like the jacket. Um, shorts. We'll go with those. And I don't care much about the nose. That one looks fine. And we'll get him some hair. No, not that hair. I can live with that. Black is fine. Don't need... Okay. Ah, uh, the name. I don't remember. I know we want Yithmavig for the nickname. And I don't remember. I have to have a first and last name, I think. So, I don't know. Making stuff up. Okay. Chris Yithmavig Beldini. I've never played this perspective or as a dragon, so. The is maintaining a heavily guarded perimeter around the site of last month's terrorist attack. The Japanese government has stated that an unidentified radical political group released a biological agent in the Tokyo subway less than one kilometer from Orochi Tower. 
Although the area has been evacuated, there have been eyewitness reports of activity inside the perimeter, including ongoing fighting between Orochi security personnel and armed civilians. Authorities are denying these reports, and the military has barred anyone from approaching within 100 meters of the temporary perimeter. You will see the end of days. You will see the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose everything or to become a god. To stand with us or against us. The choice is yours. Remember this. Be mindful of the voices. Listen to the voices they will that whisper, whisper in, in your sleep. sleep. You are with the chosen, you are with but the you chosen, must choose for but yourself. You must make the right choices. You are cursed with free will. You are cursed with free will. We are here to guide you to the light. It's not my place to intervene, but then this Even if is, this is merely a dream. dream. Make the right Make choices. The right choices. And, and be mindful, mindful of the of voices, the voices that whisper. They corrupt. For they speak the truth. So far it's been the same as the Illuminati intro. I think we get a different guy who walks into the room though. So if you haven't figured it out already, this is kind of said in modern day or if you don't know anything about the game. Said in the modern day setting, uh, you have magic, but it's not really fantasy. That looks kind of weird there. That could be a rendering setting. Yeah, we're going to go through a couple days here in the introduction. We're just going to watch it. Yep, this guy is different. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Way quicker than the Illuminati guy. So the dragons, they're Korean, I believe. Yeah, pretty sure. So we're gonna be in Seoul or Seal? I don't know how to say it. Basically, the, their base is in Korea. Well, the dragon are kind of everywhere.
we go through a pretty basic tutorial. You gotta go towards the butterflies that I don't see. Oh, down here. Yep, I can follow butterflies. Get to go to a hotel room. Yay. Is this a good hotel? It's in here somewhere. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've, uh, I've seen. Are you. Are you familiar with the butterfly effect? Hmm? It asserts that just a tiny change in initial conditions can dramatically change the long-term behavior of a system. Like, um, like a butterfly's wings affecting the weather system, turning a light breeze into... into a tsunami. Hmm? Most people take this to mean there's no way to predict or find patterns in a system so easily affected by tiny, random, seemingly insignificant events. But... But chaos theory is not about chaos. It's about order. It's about finding the underlying order in apparently random data. Hmm? In chaos. In other words, um, chaos isn't... Uh, uh, chaos uh, isn't. There's always order. Always. That order is what the dragon chases relentlessly. What they're doing is experimentation. They are testing the systems. They breeding butterflies so that they can discern the patterns. The more random data they introduce to the system, the more data they get back. They creating a model of the universe. One tsunami at a time. Uh, but this, this is a controlled experiment. So the dragon ensures that with every tiny random change, they remain in complete control. They are ruthless planners. And what they're doing, what they're planning, is acts of, in a way, they are terrorists. Except their acts of terror are small, seemingly without consequence. They don't blow up buildings or planes. They don't murder the innocent. They don't have a doctrine. What they are doing is a lot more subtle, a lot more uh, effective. They now have enough data in their models now to predict causality, at least to some degree. They put you somewhere. They have a good idea what's going to happen. That's what it's all about. Why you've been brought here to Seoul. I'm sure you're asking yourself, why me? Hmm? Why now? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters now is that you've been brought here because they want you here. They need you here. Everything from the moment they visited you until this conversation, it may seem like a series of coincidences, random events. <laughs> Carefully planned. Part of a model they've designed. Part of a system. It's an experiment, don't you see? Everything has a purpose. Everything is true. Sooner or later, they all go upstairs. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go upstairs. Yes. I wanna see what this guy says. Me? Oh, I... <laughs> I used to be a professor of history at a prestigious university in America. 
The board, they, um, they let me go. I lost my tenure. They said I was mentally unstable, but I know what happened. Someone got to them, and they probably never even knew. As far as they're concerned, I was a troublemaker. I remember the first time I came across those letters. I was fascinated and terrified, but I knew I wouldn't be able to let the opportunity pass. To learn about the existence of the secret world, a secret history of the world. Oh, the dragon. They are... They're nothing less than the greatest mystery and marvel of the secret world. From the moment I learned of their existence, I was fascinated. I've studied them, chased down obscure clues, attempted to decipher their complex past. I could talk for hours about the Illuminati, yes. They were once a great and arrogant beast, not unlike the Templars today. But they got burned and were forced to change and adapt. The Templars outmatched and outwitted them in Europe, and they did the only thing they could do to save themselves. They fled to the New World. They regrouped and rebuilt. The bull in the china shop. They see themselves as refined aristocrats, but they are brutes. Anyone gets in their way, they get trampled, and they completely lack the ability to change. The Brotherhood of Phoenician Sailors is supposedly the black sheep of the secret world. To be honest, I don't see a great deal of difference between what they do and what the rest of them have done. What the Phoenicians lack is the support of the Council and the power to push their agenda through a vote. The Dragon does not belong to any place. This is simply where they are now. And it's like a maelstrom pulling everything in, spitting out what it doesn't want. The competition and infighting between the Big Three is not new. It's been going on for literally ages. It used to be that they would meet in the open and fight to the death. But it came to a point at the Battle of Armageddon. It was the clash of the Titans, and the world was almost destroyed in its wake. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out yet, we're going to be going pretty slow and just kind of absorbing what the game has to offer. Um, we're going to end this first episode here and I'm going to keep playing. So, tune in next week to find out what happens in episode 2 when we go into the up room, upstairs room. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The shadows melt when light shines. We emerge in love. Snowflake fractal patterns pulsing with meaning crystallize from chaos into organized forms. Each random pleasure is a hurricane encompassing